and welcome back. Now we get to ride an elevator. He panted heavily, trying his best not to keep himself from screaming. The medicine cabinet had been every turn play collapsed before he reached the broken glass door and grabbed all the sedatives he could find. Let it go away, it's as I expected. Second floor, sporting goods. Clothing. Eldritch horrors. Loading screens. Carefully treading the unknown land, he looked over his shoulder at his travel companions. The outrider touched the brim of his hat as a final farewell. And now, here we are, staring sideways again. Oh, nope, not for long. And this is as far as I've ever gotten in the game. Because I keep redoing, I keep restarting to do more Let's Plays. I expect to be very, very tense from here on out, and I expect that you will find it very, very amusing. Come this way. What was that? Forgive me. I should have warned you. One of my responsibilities as a Baron is that of a prison warden. This is where criminals are locked up. Like a dungeon? Very much so. Come. Don't linger. You'll notice that at this point I'm not going to walk during uh, flashbacks anymore. Now, I have watched uh, a playthrough of Amnesia before, and I know enough about this area to know that it will scare me silly, most likely. But I'll try to keep something of the jaunty air I've had up till now. Possibly to your disappointment. The thing is, scary games don't scare me much. They make me very tense, though, and they're kind of emotionally draining. Or at least, this one does. This is, as I might have mentioned, and I can't remember anymore, the first survival horror game I've ever played. It's very dark in here. But luckily, I have lots and lots of oil. That was that was scary. Um, I hear you're not supposed to open lanterns. Uh, rather, uh, you're not supposed to turn on lanterns in here. Someone's coming. Because the uh, the torches and such that is, I can't remember what I've already said. Uh, because the, the shadow will blow them out. Alright, my headphones off. That's better. Uh, now I hear again all stuff I've heard mainly. Read about it a bit. But if I go up those stairs, I'll be chased by a monster. So I'm not going to do that yet. Because I am a big fat coward. Well not very fat, but I may Moderately tall, rather slender coward. Mostly, you just need to look for, or rather listen for, a grunt. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, that was not good for my sanity at all. Nope, nope, nope. I'm just going to, uh, I'm just going to hide under here for a while. My lantern. I believe the lantern restores your sanity a bit. Because I definitely do not want my sanity running out while I'm in the middle of this.
That wasn't good. I really hope my hand any resource soon. Crouch over a candle that will bring you back up to uh, head is pounding and hands are shaking at least. In my experience, which has often not been uh, repeatable so far. Might take a little bit. I'm actually going to pause the recording here so I don't waste your time. All right. Somehow, without uh, while I was paused, without even collapsing, I went up back up to uh, head is pounding and hands are shaking. Don't know how that worked, but oh well. Stairs. I'm gonna make sure I know how to get back to the elevator room. Alright, go down there, take a right, take a left. Alright. No. Uh, wish me luck. <laughs> I'm gonna go upstairs backward. hope this is a good hiding place. It's probably not. But if the grunt kills me, the grunt kills me. I don't know if it tries to break down the door. Just listening to the music. Getting unnerved. On the bright side, I'm not losing any sanity. I think it's gone. Sounds like it's gone. You there, Mr. Grunt? Are you there? Please don't kill me. I'm a nice guy, really. It's gone. Huzzah! We did it. Well, now that that's over, I'm going to stop here for now, and in the next part, we'll see the rest of the prison. Have fun!